All right, guys, welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. This is Ali Plays, and today I'm going to be talking about my Harvest Jack uh, situation. It was pretty hilarious. There he is. I didn't I didn't uh, fuse him yet because I want to talk about this. So what happened was I already had High Katoon. A lot of you guys, uh, everybody should have High Katoon if you guys have been playing for 30 days because uh, she is a login champion for that. So I already had High Katoon already level 50 with five star ascension. So I did not need to worry about it. Maybe it wasn't even five star ascension. Maybe it was three star ascension, but uh, that's besides the point. So uh, she was pretty easy for me to get Lady Atessa. I think that's her name. She was pretty easy for me to get. I just had to get one of the champions that were required from the, um, I think it was one of the dungeon drops. So I was doing stage 15 for those champions, the dungeon drop champions. And then I get them after like 10 tries. So I guess it was just RNG because I've seen a lot of people that were not able to get them that quickly. So I was I thought I was going to be able to do this free to play. I actually did do it free to play. Um, but I thought I was I was going to be able to do this part of the Harvest Jack uh, legendary event, <laughs> the champion training event. I thought I would actually be able to do a free to play, but this is how far I got. So I'm probably going to get the 10,450 points, but that's probably going to be it. So I did not I had 900 gems when I started. So that's how much I've spent, but that's actually not real money. That's just gems that I've saved up. So I was able to get these two and then I got them uh, level 50, five star ascension. And then I actually got Lady Sue before Maev. If you guys uh, were staying up to date on my community post on YouTube, I actually had Madman. So look at my Madman right here. So I actually had Madman four star ascension, uh, level 40, uh, ready to go for the fusion. And then when I was leveling up my champions, I accidentally upgraded this guy to five stars. And then, <laughs> I was like, oh man, I don't know what to do. So I was like, oh, maybe I can pull him from using my mystery shards. So, uh, so I was actually able to get Seaway Firstborn from the Champion Chase Tournament. So how did I do that? I actually did this all free to play. So I had over, um, over 2,400 mystery shards. And then I just kept opening them. And then sometimes you get rare champions. Those are worth 10 points. <laughs> and while I was while I was doing that, I was trying to get uh, Madman. But I did contact Plarium before that. So I don't know. I don't know what was wrong with me, but I still kept going for it. Even though there was like, it seemed like there was not a chance for me to get Madman. Because I was telling Plarium if they can reverse it for me or let us use five star champions as a fusion, as fusion fodder. But they said they can't do that. So they said, oh, we'll see what we can do. And then they didn't get back to me for like a week. So uh, today they messaged me and then I said, oh, it's, all, it's done. So they told me to give them my player ID. They told me to give them my player ID. So I did that. And then they said, oh, we did it for you. So what they did was they actually gave me another madman um, level 40 four star ascension. So that is very nice of them. So thank you, uh, Marius from uh, Plarium. Thanks a lot, man. So now I'm actually able to do it. So I'm still working at Maev, and um, how did I get, again, how did I get Lady Siwe or Siwe Firstborn? I'm mixing up the names now. So I was using my mystery shards. So the way you can do this, I'll show you guys. So the way you do it, let's pick one champion. Wait, I'm going to go summon a whole bunch. So what I did is I was summoning 10 at a time. I tried to make my vault as empty as possible. Sorry, not my vault, my uh, hero inventory slots, the active one. Try to make it as empty as possible, but that's kind of hard to do with a maxed out. Vault is like 200 out of 200 champions. So she's level 37. So what I did was I just chose one champion and I kept doing this. So I was getting points for the, um, I was getting points for the tournament where you have to do the champion training tournament. So I just kept doing this. So not only was I leveling up my champions, but I was also making space to actually use my mystery shard. So this actually took a long time to do. I think it took like a couple hours, but I was like, yo, I gotta get Seaway Firstborn. Even the two stars. So I just did the ones and the two stars and fed them into one champion and I went back and then summon again. Like I'm wasting mystery shards right now. So that's basically like 10 points right there. Uh, this is 10 points, but when you get a rare champion, it's going to be worth 10 points by itself. So you're going to keep, you can keep doing that. So basically how much mystery shards you have is how many points you can actually get for the event. So if I had 2,400 mystery shards, I would actually have 2,400 points. So that would be pretty close to uh, Sue Firstborn. So what can you guys do in the future for legendary events? Um, they're probably going to be doing a lot of these champion chase tournaments for uh, future fusion events for legendaries. So I would actually recommend saving up your mystery shards. So hoard your mystery shards. Um, if you guys want to, you can save up your ancient void and sacreds. It would be much easier, but mystery shards are actually viable to do. So you can actually, if you want, just summon your ancients, void and sacreds, because that's what I've been doing. And then also another tip. 
is uh, to prepare for future events. Save your brews. So use your brews when there's champion, uh, when there's a legendary fusion and a champion training tournament for a specific champion that you need for the fusion. That was that would be a very very good idea because you can only get points from here. But doing this way, opening the mystery shards and leveling up your champions actually gives you points towards that because you're doing it directly from the tavern. So you guys have about a month and a half to get ready for a future uh, legendary fusion. So that's going to happen uh, in December, most likely. So it's either going to be Sir Nicholas or um, maybe something else. Maybe they're going to make a new champion. Hopefully Sir Nicholas. So that is my advice for you guys. So you guys can be can get brews from Clan Boss. So save all those brews. Um, save your gems, obviously. And don't be upset if you guys get mystery shards now from the campaign or from uh, dungeons. You can just save them. Uh, if Sir Nicholas actually does come around, let me know. Are you guys actually going to go for him? And... I know a lot of you guys are actually going to go for him. He's actually a beast champion. And if you guys found this video helpful or entertaining in any way, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you guys are new to the channel and like to see, then definitely hit that subscribe button. I make Red Shadow Legends and Dragon Champions videos. And uh, while you're at it, you can enable notifications to let YouTube know you want to stay up to date on all my latest content. And if you guys want to check out Dragon Champion, link in the description. If you guys use my link, you guys help out the channel. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.